is a quick tutorial on a uh, decoupage central rice paper and the IOD winter adornment stamp and the flitter glue starter kit from indigo blue also from decoupage central so right now I am just tearing the edges of the rice paper I am going to apply this onto a black canvas panel I'm going to use pent heart decoupage varnishing glue in the mat The black canvas panels are in my Amazon store. Just look for the painted spindle. And I'm just going to apply the glue and apply the rice paper. I'm going to speed it up so I don't make you sit there and watch the whole thing, but Just apply a thin layer of glue and I am going to cover the whole surface of this also with a layer of the same uh, decoupage glue. Give it a quick dry. I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing though, but just letting you know it does need to be completely dry. Now I'm going to use the Flitter Glue Starter Kit from Indigo Blue. That was the glue. This is the Silver Metal Leaf Flakes. And these are the little sponges that it comes with. It's all in a convenient starter kit. This is the Winter Adornment IOD Stamp Set. Sorry, I'm looking for the name here and I can't seem to find it. There we go. Winter Adornment. Beautiful, beautiful set they just came out with. It has so many options on here. I've already used several and I had, had them soaking. And you do want to, it is a two-page stamp set. So many options. I love, love, love this stamp set from IOD. That's also available at Decoupage Central. So I just took one of the stamps off and I'm trying to find the placement. And you do want to have some soapy warm water in a container ready because you are going to want to put these stamps after you've used them directly into some warm soapy water because we are going to be applying this glue to the stamp instead of paint or ink, we're going, going to apply the glue. So you just put it on the little sponge that came with the kit, and I just rub it in with my finger, just get it all, cover the whole surface. So I'm gonna zoom in just a little so you can see a little better. And then you just dab it over the whole surface. You don't want to press too hard. You don't want to go way down into the, the grooves of the stamp, but you do want to cover the whole surface. And you can see here, it becomes a little bit more opaque. You can tell where you've applied the glue. And then we just pick up our stamp and I show you here how you can tell where the glue is. Now we're going to apply it onto our canvas. And you always want to keep one hand on the stamp because it will shift and then you will get a smudged appearance. But just I am applying a bit of pressure here because I want to make sure that I do get that. Since the glue is, you know, sticky, I want to make sure I get a good adhesion on there. And now you can see where that glue is applied. It's showing you there that you can see it. Now we're going to use these tweezers to apply our metal flakes. And this is where the fun happens. It's a beautiful little 
pieces of the silver metal flake. The colors available are silver, gold, and copper. And you just pick some flakes, just kind of spread it around. And I am going to use copper as well. This is another product. I did not have the copper from Decoupage Central on hand, but it's exactly the same. And I'm just going to mix these together because I want both colors. And you can do three, you can do one color, it's just whatever you want to do. Now I'm going to take a uh, chippy brush, just a rather stiff one, and we're just going to brush off the excess flakes. And you can brush firm. You don't have to be gentle because you do want to remove any flakes that are not attached so that you can see the detail of the stamp. It's probably best not to have a fan blowing because these little pieces do get to flying. Now you want to use the other sponge that came with it and just go over the whole area that you just applied the leaf to. And again, you don't have to be super gentle because you do want to remove it so that you can see the detail. And there's that beautiful detail. Just so, so pretty. I just love this. The stamps are so detailed, and then this uh, metal leaf just really enhances that. So now I'm just, I applied a little more glue. We're stamping again with that same one, and I'm just repeating the process here. That's why I've sped it up. We're just repeating the same thing. Just look at that detail. It's beautiful. Now I'm, I've gotten another little stamp from that set. And I am using a wet wipe when I tap on the top because my fingers were kind of sticky with the glue and it will move your stamp because the stamp's going to want to stick to your fingers. So, and we're just repeating the process here. We're just going to do the same thing until we get the look we're going for. You can apply as much as you want, as little as you want. You can layer a little bit, you know, overlap your stamps a bit. Just have fun with it. Create your own style. I'm just adding a few more pieces here. Another little stamp from that set is just such a beautiful set. I just love it that again is available at Decoupage Central. I know uh, once they're sold out though, I don't think they're gonna make any more. This was a limited release, so you do wanna grab it. It's just, and it doesn't have to just be for Christmas. You can see it's just got vines. Now I'm gonna use Deco Art Triple Thick Gloss Glaze. I just want it, this will make it waterproof. You don't have to do this. You don't have to seal it. But I did want to have a glossy shine to this. And that also is available in my Amazon store. And that's going to complete this project. Uh, if you will go follow my uh, Facebook page, The Painted Spindle, my storefront on Amazon is also the Painted Spindle. And visit Decoupage Central for any of these items. And thank you all so much for watching.